Morning everyone. So this is the second of the two stretch videos that I promised. Um, this one we're looking at uh, full body and we're looking at some slightly more unusual muscle groups. So we're going to start with the abductors um, and the adductors. Um, we're going to move on to a sitting hip flexor stretch. Um, we're going to add a twist into that so it starts to bring the torso into some of the stretching. Um, we're then going to bring in uh, back bend, which um, I may not be able to fully demonstrate here with the equipment um, that you might have at home, but I can certainly give you an idea of what that involves. Um, we'll go on to a cobra. Uh, a shoulder stretch, which I really love that I've got from um, uh, my own trainer, um, who, I, who I do some stretch work with, Abby, um, at Barnsley Barbell. Um, and then we're going to move on to uh, cat cow and that's going to be where we end. So this might be a little bit shorter than the last video. Um, in terms of equipment, I don't think you need any equipment for this one except perhaps a sofa um, at home and you'll see that I'm going to use uh, these bottles just here just to give you an idea that you can really use anything um, with this. So we're going to start off with abductors and I've said before in the last video that you really need to be warm when you've done, um, when you're doing these stretches. So it's really important that you do this after you've done your exercise for the day. So if you've just been out for a brisk walk, um, do them then um, or spend some time now. Maybe you pause this video, do five to ten minutes of things like star jumps and burpees, walkouts and um, run up and down your, your stairs at home. That's quite a good one. Um, and really just try and make sure that all of your muscle groups are warm, there's blood pumping around your body, you're a bit out of breath, you're feeling a little bit sweaty, and just so that your muscles are nice and warm. Um, and each stretch we're going to hold for 30 seconds. Um, you can repeat those stretches two to three times um, through, or you can go back through the whole video um, and, and repeat the whole video two to three times through. So this should take no more than 15 minutes and it, and it may be a little bit less than that. So we're going to start off, I've flipped the video around because we're going to do a little bit more standing here. Um, we're going to start off with the abductors. So these are the things, um, these are the muscles that work to pull your leg away from your body. Um, so these are muscles um, and adductors as well that we don't really think about stretching. We think about stretching the big muscle groups. So we're going to just stretch these off and we're going to bring that stretch into the, to the whole side of the body as well. So what we're going to do to start off with is we're going to stretch the right hand side, we're going to take that leg behind the body and all we're going to do is lean to the side and push the hips this way. So you're going to push the hips very slightly in the direction that you're stretching and you'll feel it all at the side and it depends where you're tight so you might actually start to feel it um, a little bit higher up uh, as well. Um, and if you want to, you can reach the arm over and that will really extend that stretch all the way down the side. And we're going to hold that for about 30 seconds. Halfway through. it off there. We're going to just change sides then. So take the other leg behind, lean over to the side and then if you don't feel that stretch take the arm up and over the head and you're trying to imagine with this one that you're between two planes of glass so you don't want to be leaning forwards or back, you just want to make sure you're feeling the stretch down the side there. Done ten seconds. Halfway through. Two, one, and release that stretch there. And again, as I said before, you can go through these stretches two or three times yourself by just pausing the video. So we're now going to look at um, adductors, which are the muscles on the inside that are responsible for bringing your leg back to the middle. So this is very simply a lean over to one side. And some of you will be able to get really low, some of you not so low. So if you can get to just here, that's fine. The important thing is you're feeling the stretch down the inside of the straight leg. 
So we're going to do this for 30 seconds. Nice deep breaths. That's 10 seconds done. One, and then we're just going to change sides. I'm just going to move up a bit so that you can see me. And again, you don't have to go very far. It doesn't have to be the biggest lunge in the world. The important thing is that you're actually feeling the stretch in the leg. So again, a nice hold for 30 seconds. Big deep breaths and try and relax into the stretch. Halfway through. We're going to do a similar stretch for the doctors. We're going to sit down on the floor for this one. We're going to get our feet together. And you might find that you can get your feet really close and get your knees to the floor. For others of you, you may not be able to get your feet very close at all. Doesn't matter. We're doing feet together, so soles of the feet together. And you're just going to push those knees to the floor. If you can, you can get your elbows in. You can use your hands, whatever's comfortable for you. Just push those knees towards the floor. We're going to hold that for 30 seconds. Ten seconds in. So I want you to try and get a nice straight back, try not to be arched over, and try and sit what we call the sitting bones in dancing. You feel when you're arched back, there's two bones in your bum that um, you can feel whether you're sitting on them or not. Um, so I want to be on those bones, pushing the knees into the floor with a nice straight back. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. Now this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a hand behind our back, keeping our legs where they are. Put the back of your hand on your knee and just push around to twist. I'm gonna get the timer around so I can see it. And we're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. And this might be quite a nice stretch on your back. Halfway through. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. And then we're gonna go the other way, so keep your legs where they are. Back of the hand on the opposite knee, other hand behind your back to support you. And we're just twisting again with a nice straight back for 30 seconds. seconds done and you're halfway through three two one and release there okay the next stretch I have is a back stretch so this is something that you might want to do on your sofa, so if you're sat in front of your sofa, it's nice and easy, you can just lean over, over your sofa. Um, it's the type of stretch where, as a kid, if you ever lay upside down on your sofa and you bent your head over to watch telly, um, and they still show that on one of the TV ads, um, it's that type of stretch on your back. So the muscles in your back is one long, um, there's a couple of long muscles that go up and down your spine, and they are um, shortened when you bend over like this, and what we're trying to do is extend those to give those a stretch. So I've got this um, lovely pack of water just here that I can, that I can use to bend over. Um, equally, you could use a foam roller. If you've got a foam roller, you can bend over this. Um, if you've got a couple of yoga blocks, you can put a couple of yoga blocks under your back as well. But like I said, the sofa is good enough. So with this one, you're just going to lie on it, you're going to get the bottom of whatever you're stretching over just towards the bottom of your ribs and you're just going to lean back over it so that your back is arched and you don't have to push it very far. 
and you're just going to hold this for 30 seconds. Now I quite like this stretch. We're about 10 seconds in. This water's really cold. <laughs> 15 seconds. Four, three, two, one, and you're going to come up. Not everybody likes that stretch, um, but it's quite a good one on your back if you've been sat at a desk all day. Um, and you just want to release, release that sort of tension in your back. So that's a back stretch. What we're gonna do now is move on to Cobra. So we're gonna be stretching our abs. Um, so I'm just gonna get these out of the way. So you're gonna lie on your front, tops of your feet on the floor. So feet nice and flat. And all you're gonna do is get hands underneath your shoulders and you're gonna push up. Now, if you can't push up very far, you can just lie on your elbows and that's fine. If you can, you can push up much further and really stretch those abs out for about 30 seconds then. So do what you can. And if you feel like you can progress at any point, then do. So 10 seconds in now. Twenty seconds in. And ease out there. All we're gonna do then to finish off is cat cow. So on all fours. And this is the difference between arching your back with your head looking up and rounding it off with your head down. So we're gonna do about 10 seconds on each and we're just gonna work through both. So starting with bent back, looking forward, so this is the cow. We're just gonna do 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and then arching that back for 10 seconds, really pushing up to the ceiling. Three, two, one, and then the reverse. Three, two, one, and again, cat. Three, two, one, and the last one, looking forwards. Three, two, one, and the cap for the last time. Three, two, one, and there we go. So that's two videos for you there of quite general stretches, but if there's somewhere very specific that you want to stretch off or you're looking for a slightly more complicated stretch or a slightly more advanced stretch because you're not feeling the stretch in some of those positions, then get in touch and, and I'll put something together for you.